with Kevin Kalish after the Cougars 3-0 victory over DePaul. And Coach, talk first about uh, the conditions and your guys had to wait a long time. We pushed back and, and it, there was a little uncertainty. Did that affect the team? Did that affect the start of the game anyway? It's hard to say. I think uh, obviously when you, you have inclement weather like that, you just got to adjust and, and um, prepare accordingly. I think our guys were ready to play. I think the first half was a little bit tight, but uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with the performance. Certainly nice, I'm sure, to be home after starting the season with four games on the road. Probably not the crowd that, that you would have had had the weather been nicer, but certainly, I'm sure, nice to be at home nonetheless. Yeah, it is. I think it's obviously uh, important for the guys to play in their home field. I think the, the crowd would have been a, a fantastic crowd if, uh, if it wasn't for the weather. But, uh, you know, you got to adjust, like I said, and uh, again, I thought the guys played well. Goal scores tonight, uh, some of your regulars, if you will, with uh, Kevin Stoll getting one, Christian Valeski, but Aaron Lance actually gets you on the board first and just before halftime. That had to be big. Yeah, it was a big one from Aaron. Aaron's had a great year so far. You know, he's a big player for us, and, uh, you know, in order to score that goal that late in the half and when, again, the game was the game was up for grabs, I think it was a, was a big moment for us tonight. And your goalkeeping strong, as always. John Burner was very good back there as well. Yeah, John is. Uh, again, I haven't seen too many goalies out there that are better, to be honest with you. I think he's uh, he's really coming into his own. He's playing with a lot of confidence, and uh, you know, hopefully, he can continue to do so. How much does it help at the end of the game uh, when you have a comfortable lead and maybe you get a chance to see some of the guys that, that don't get a lot of playing time and then they get that experience? Yeah, it's good. I think these guys have worked hard as well in training and, and came to preseason fit. And um, Obviously, it's a tough spot to, to be in in terms of not getting as many, much time as maybe they would like, but at the end of the day, we have a lot of good, talented players in the program. It's good to see them on the field. and um, yeah, I think obviously it's important for Sunday's game as well. Nothing new for you guys, a short turnaround. You've got uh, the day off tomorrow and then the game here at home against UMKC Sunday. That's correct. What do you expect on Sunday? It'll be another tough game. UMKC is always a good team. Uh, you know, uh, Rick does a great job with that program. They'll, they'll be, they'll be uh, ready to play, and I think, uh, again, it's, it's about our, our mindset and our approach. Got to make sure we're ready to go. Coach, thanks. All right, thank you.